So I was getting ready to go to the gym, but I couldn't leave my house because all these thoughts circulating in my mind after watching CNN's coverage of this quote unquote Muslim ban, which is a fallacy in itself. I'm not really understanding why individuals simply can't read. How can something be a Muslim ban? If it is titled a Muslim ban, that means it's banning all Muslims, but not all predominantly Muslim countries are being banned. It's the same countries that were listed from the prior administration. I'm not really understanding most of these people. You got individuals in California who are marching left and right talking about stop banning Muslims, but they're waving Mexican flags. Now granted, there are Mexicans who can be Muslim, but what are you trying to fight against? All of a sudden now you're protesting a wall when you're supposed to be here for a Muslim man? These individuals can't even, you know, pick their struggle right. Stay focused, fight against one thing at a time. What are you doing? And mind you, all these in individuals who like fiending <clears throat> for, uh, you, you, you know, you have this high, you know, propensity to want people to come in and just say open borders and calling for people to come to America. You do recognize if these immigrants who do come in here, um, if they cannot work and now you need the government to now take care of them, that takes money away from the individuals who actually can't work and needs the government to um, you know, take care of them here. You do recognize that, right? Flint, Michigan got absolutely nothing. You got poison in the water. A year and a half ago, everybody was talking about, oh, that's unfortunate, what's happening in Flint. You do recognize nothing has changed in Flint, right? Kids are being poisoned left and right. Level of poverty is pretty much going up. You got individuals who were born here now. I'm not talking about those who have the ability to work. I'm talking about those who don't have the ability to work. They, you always hear the conservative people on the right always come out and talk about the veterans. And that's one thing that I do agree with them with. There's no reason why I should always see a, ver a, a homeless veteran hopping on the train begging for money. How does that happen? How the hell does that happen? But you want more people to come in? And then for the blacks out here who's, you know, Continually crying, talking about, oh, we, we must have these, um, you know, these, uh, these immigrants come in. We're all immigrants. I want you to recognize something. On the level of, uh, <clears throat> you know, government assistance that you'd be getting, if the immigrants now come in, you know you get bumped down, right? You know they jump in front of you, right? They, they'd be in front of you. you. You wouldn't be getting all this sort of assistance. So I'm, I'm just going to let people know, all right? Those who are feeling for these immigrants to come in, you know, all these other people from different countries that all come in but you're complaining about taxes all that shit gonna go up if they do come in people who don't have a lot of money they don't recognize that's why i look at you know the the wealthier class who get upset about paying so much taxes if you actually look at the tax code and you start to break it down they're getting the shaft they pretty much have the anal lube you know all lubed up and somebody sticking their forearm up their ass sideways no vaseline that's what it's feeling like for them all right so the way that i see it with this whole Muslim ban, people just don't read, man. You're just out here getting outraged to get outraged. There was already signed by a freaking prior administration. Every president has come in and tried to protect the borders. In fact, there's a, um, somebody made a video compilation on um, Facebook and they milked, they milked it. They mixed uh, Bill Clinton and President Obama talking about border security and they threw in Trump simply just looking because he's doing the exact same thing. He may have worded it different and he sounds much more authoritative when he's speaking, but they're all saying the same thing. So stop acting like this is a new thing. People over here really complain and complain. I'm really not understanding it, all right? Because y'all really lining yourselves up to get fucked, all right? Here's the damn video. I'm going to the gym. All Americans, not only in the states most heavily affected, but in every place in this country are rightly disturbed by the large numbers of illegal aliens entering our country. The jobs they hold might otherwise be held by citizens or legal immigrants. The public service they use impose burdens on our taxpayers. That's why our administration has moved aggressively to secure our borders more, by hiring a record number of new border guards, by deporting twice as many criminal aliens as ever before, by cracking down on illegal hiring, by barring welfare benefits to illegal aliens, in the budget I will present to you, we will try to do more to speed the deportation of illegal aliens who are arrested for crimes, to better identify illegal aliens in the workplace as recommended by the commission headed by former Congresswoman Barbara Jordan. We are a nation of immigrants, but we are also a nation of laws. Even as we are a nation of immigrants, we're also a nation of laws. Undocumented workers broke our immigration laws, and I believe that they must be held accountable especially those who may be dangerous. When I took office, I committed to fixing this broken immigration system. 
and I began by doing what I could to secure our borders. But today, our immigration system is broken, and everybody knows it. There are actions I have the legal authority to take as president. Tonight, I'm announcing those actions. We'll build on our progress at the border with additional resources for our law enforcement personnel so that they can stem the flow of illegal crossings and speed the return of those who do cross over. If you're a criminal, you'll be deported. If you plan to enter the U.S. illegally, your chances of getting caught and sent back just went up. We expect people who live in this country to play by the rules. We expect that those who cut the line will not be unfairly rewarded. The actions I'm taking are not only lawful, they're the kinds of actions taken by every single Republican president and every single Democratic president for the past half century. And to those members of Congress who question my authority to make our immigration system work better, question my authority, question my authority, question my authority, question my authority, or question the wisdom of me acting where Congress has failed, I have one answer. Pass a bill.